This film is, no one's seen anything like this movie. This is the, this is like the other Mad Max films, except it's operating on a higher plane and it's, it's, it's got a scope that I've, I've not seen before, honestly. It's bigger than I ever had anticipated. The one thing about the original Mad Max films is that they have that feeling that's so cobbled together and you know, it's gritty and it's just these guys doing it. Whereas this is so, it feels so much uh, grander and more polished. And I actually think it's gonna lend itself beautifully to this movie because it's, it's gonna be, it's just, the scope is completely widened and now it's almost like, uh, to me, I perceive it as being almost like opera. Like it's it's huge, it's big, it's uh, it's expansive, and you know it's that beautiful balance between uh, you know hopefully reality, but but awesome spectacle as well. The crashes in this, the explosions, the 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 bodies flying in all kinds of different directions. It's ridiculous, and it's all. It's all been done. Like, it's, there's virtually no CG, and that was something that also really impressed me about this, because they've really gone to the lengths to try and do it all in camera, to have guys putting themselves on the line for this. And as a result, it looks amazing. I saw a shot the other day of a side of a tanker being ripped away while it was driving across the desert, and you just see debris flying and, and all this kind of stuff like pouring out across the desert. And you can't fake that. You can't fake that at all. And any time that any sort of thing like that is done in CG, you can always tell, I feel. And, and that is why I feel like this film is really going to resonate with people because things are being done for real and that's a scary thing to watch and exhilarating as a result. So, I mean, I'll, be, I'll, I'll probably be buying a ticket to this movie and I'm in it, so.